Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mark and today I'm going to walk you through the files for this new set of letter banks. I'm going to start by talking through this document I have included in your download folder called this letter bank legend where it just identifies all the pieces. Then I'll talk you through a 3D exploded view of all the pieces and then finally we'll end with talking through one of the specific files because they're all laid out pretty much the same. So for starters, here's the letter bank legend and I'll walk through each one of these pieces. So in each one of the files on the top left, you'll find a shape, which in this case is the B, and this is the back layer with the base tab, which means this tab right here goes down into the base to hold it up. And then the next two are always gonna be two spacers with a coin slot at the top. Now this is one that's inverted, turned upside down to make the uh, space be more uh, used more efficiently but you've got this piece here and this piece here that go right on top of that one. We'll look at that in a minute in, a minute in the 3D exploded view. And then we've got these two and these two that are the same that have a hole at the bottom so the money can go out the base with the sliding door. And uh, we'll skip the green ones for just a minute. Over here we've got the letter cutout that goes on the very front. And then this, the blue lines indicate the piece that's supposed to be out of clear or translucent acrylic and the red lines are score lines to show you where to put the parts. So for example, this piece right here is going to go on top of this one. And then the last piece that we have is all the green ones here. They're not green in the file. I did it here so that it really helped you see them quickly. All 26 letters has exactly the same base pieces and they're located in different places in the file because I'm trying to condense this as much as possible so that you can cut it all out of one sheet or one and a part of a sheet. Uh, but these, you'll start to recognize these very quickly as you use the file. This one right here is the top piece of the base. The middle piece that's sandwiched in between the top and the bottom is this L-shaped piece, and it's uh, matching one right here, so this one and this one. And then you've got the door that slides, and then the base piece. And all of the slots here line up together, and this tab goes down through those. Let me show you a document that will even make more sense to you now that you've seen this one. This 3D assembly here, um, this shows you exactly how all these pieces go together. And I'm going to move this out of the way and we'll talk through some of the pieces and move them and you'll see how they go here. So you've got, again, the back piece here with the tab. And then you've got two spacers that go right on top of it just like this. And they have the coin slot in the top right there. Then followed, uh, that is followed by four spacers that go like this and they all have a slot in the bottom open. One, two, three, and four. And you might do five of those if you need to, depending on how thick your material is. We talked about that in the other video. And then you've got your clear or translucent acrylic there, followed by the top piece. And this B actually also has some pieces that sit in here as well. But that's how the B goes together. And then the base is very similar to what we talked about earlier. Let me ungroup this. And you've got these two pieces. All of the uh, slots line up together. You've got these two pieces that go just like that. Then you've got the door that slides right in like this, back and forth here. And then this T can go right in that hole right there so that it doesn't slide open accidentally. Or you can put a little padlock there. And then this top piece goes just like that. And then the tab that was at the bottom here goes right through the slot right there. And that's how the base works. So let's now go over to one of the files. This is what the file looks like. We'll uh, walk through the text real fast. All of the black lines equal cut. Red line equals score, which the only red lines are right here on the acrylic just to help you know where these pieces go. And then the blue equals acrylic. I just did that so that you know for sure that this piece is to be cut out of acrylic. All the other ones should be cut out of quarter inch uh, material. You can... Now, hear me out. You can do the front uh, piece here out of eighth inch if you wish. and you, uh, But I really would recommend you just do it all out of quarter. It just makes it a lot easier. But that is totally up to you. Let's read the text up here. I realize I got an extra T there. That's fantastic. The slot size is 0.25. You can use any material thickness you want. But quarter inch works best, especially for the spacers. Be sure to watch the other video that goes with this as well. Your spacers need to total a minimum of 1.3 inches thick. So that means 
uh, just what you want to do is you want to take 1.3 inches and divide it by the thickness of your material. And you'll know if you need to either do um, six spacers or seven. Uh, so if you need to do seven total, you'll do these two here. And then I would just add on an extra one of these. So this is just like we talked about earlier. These go right here. I'm not going to flip that around, but that one goes on top of it. And then you've got all of your uh, bottom ones that have the, the slot in the bottom there that go on top. All right. And I think that's about it. Just know that all of the bases are the same in every last file. So if you want, you could save that in a different file or you could delete those after you've, uh, you've made all the ones that you need. But they're all the same. And then all that varies is the actual spacers and the shape of the bank themselves. One more thing I want to add is that you can do things like add a kid's name to the banks. That's a really great way to personalize it. And what I recommend is to add it to one of the spacers. I would probably do one of the spacers that's close to the front. So you might want to use like this one right here. And you're going to use uh, your vector program, whatever you use. And all you're going to do is you're just going to simply type out the name that you want. Uh, let's say it's Mark, for example. And... Um, Pick a font that you like. It's kind of fun to do different fonts. And you'll just simply turn it. Uh, I would probably put it on the flat side of most of the letters. I know all of them don't have a flat side, but, but most of them do. I would probably put it right there, convert it to outlines. I'd probably make it much thicker than that. So let's, let's real quick, let's find something that's uh, thicker, like maybe that. And then you can simply convert it to outlines. And then... You can select both the spacer and the name and put it together like that. Uh, in Illustrator, it's Pathfinder Unite. And then you can simply mix that in with your spacers and it'll stick out the side and it'll look great. I'm going to do some follow-up tutorials for all of the major uh, vector programs to show you how to do that. So here in the next few days, I'll have some more resources to show you how to do that if you'd like. But that's a really great way to quickly personalize one of the banks.